A long time, no talk. So, life has been very crazy and very up and down. And I thought I would just go ahead and make a sit down video, a catch up, um, just discussing everything. So, yeah. So first thing is first, I did start a podcast. It is called That's a Wrap. Um, with that being said, I do post the videos on YouTube as well as on podcasts. So my podcast is available wherever you listen to podcasts. Um, with that being said, it is focused on films and television. So what I do with the podcast is I will discuss a season of a TV show. Um, we will, you know, I go over what the season detailed and all that information, some facts, and then some opinions that are just my own. We can all agree to disagree on opinions. Um, and then the same thing with films. I talk about the films, the background behind it, um, you know, especially if it's based on a true story, um, and then my opinions on it. And it has been really fun. I was posting twice a week. Um, however, I have since dropped down to once a week, and I will get into why in a second. Um, I also have not actually done a YouTube video in quite a while either, um, just because of life. Um, so, now that I've discussed the podcast, um, which I hope if you come across this video, you will definitely go ahead and check it out. Um, it's just very different than all the other podcasts that are out. Um, it seems like everybody's doing a self-help podcast um, or a true crime podcast. And I kind of wanted to just do something different. And I love film and I love television. So I figured why not? Um, do, I do, do I see this being a long-term thing? No, not really. Um, but, you know, as a hobby right now, it is fun um, and I'm enjoying doing it um, you know if it, if it blows up and if it turns into something then that's great if it doesn't that is fine too um, so where am I at in life um, so I was attending the Los Angeles film school as you guys all know I have a couple of videos that are out on the school. Um, however, as of August of 2022, I withdrew from Los Angeles Film School. And it wasn't because I didn't think it was a good fit. It more so had to do with the fact that I need financial stability as well as career stability. Um, with that being said, it is a very tough industry to break into and it's very hard to break into the industry when you are located like in the middle of nowhere, Midwest. Um, and I was struggling with that. Um, I definitely enjoyed my time at Los Angeles Film School. Um, however, with the start of this past semester, I could not get loans out. So I did have to pay tuition out of pocket, which put me in a very bad financial situation. Um, I am a very financially responsible individual. I always have been, and I am proud of that. Um, however, having to pay tuition, it, it was expensive and it just put me in a very, very bad place. Um, I was supposed to be moving to either Nashville, Dallas, or Los Angeles this year when my lease was up. 
and because I had to do my tuition, that is not happening. Um, I also have been trying, it's now September, and I tried for eight months to get internships. Um, I did get one internship. It had nothing to do with the entertainment industry. I hated it, so I did not continue it. Um, and that was like the only one I ever got. I have constantly gotten denied and turned down from internships and even entry level jobs. And I decided after debating for a while, um, you know, I weighed the pros and cons and despite loving the classes, loving what I was learning and being excited to take this new step in my life, it wasn't realistic. Um, with that being said, I am almost 30 years old and I can't be doing education without knowing that I'm definitely going to have a job without knowing that I'm going to have income in this field, especially when I am paying out of pocket for a very hefty tuition bill. And it was resulting in me being behind on bills and, you know, with everything increasing, all the prices, it was just putting me in a very rough spot. Um, so with that being said, um, I may go back to Los Angeles Film School in the future, you know, when I move to a more entertainment industry area, whether that's Nashville, whether that's Los Angeles, or somewhere else. Um, but as of right now, it just was not ideal. Um, I can't do the unknown. I need to know that I am going to be able to get a job when I graduate. And it just wasn't realistic because everybody wants, you know, you to live in LA. And paying tuition, that was not going to be a case that I could do this year or even next year with how expensive LA is. Um, that being said, maybe Nashville would have been more realistic. Um, I still would love to move to Nashville. However, Nashville's focus is on music and I don't want to really do music. So I was really holding on to working in the film and television industry. And that just really would not be realistic until I am able to move to LA. And unfortunately having to pay tuition out of pocket was not putting me in the financial situation that I would need to move to LA. So, that being said, talking about finances and um, guaranteed jobs or being able to at least score a job, I have decided to go back to nursing school. Um, this was a very um, quick spur of the moment type thing. I have withdrawn from LAFS and I always need to be doing something. Um, I'm just somebody I love learning, I love challenging myself, and I love new things. And, you know, I just happened to look into re enrolling at my community college here in the area. And you have a two year limit, um, either a two year limit from your application or a two-year limit from your last class and I finished my last nursing classes in spring of 2021 um, so I was just pushing that two-year mark um, so I decided to go ahead and re-enroll um, that being said um, I have been missing nursing a lot um, I have been missing being a CNA. I miss just having a purpose. Um, and that is something that I have always wanted to do in my life is to have a purpose. Um, criminal justice, so when I was in law enforcement, I desperately wanted to work in kidnappings and cold cases. 
because I feel like cold cases especially people have forgotten and that is not fair to any individual to not have an identity to not know who killed a person even if their identity is known it's not fair everybody deserves answers everybody deserves rest and that is something I have always wanted to do um, I have always wanted to work with um, you know missing children um, that is something that I would even still love to do even if it's just volunteer work um, because every every child deserves to be found and I am a strong believer that if more people want to help close cold cases to help close kidnappings the more hands the better um, and those are like the two things that I always wanted to focus on the most when I was in law enforcement. Um, even when I tried social work, you know, it was never something I actually wanted to do. But at the time, I was helping people. I was, you know, helping kids. I was tutoring kids. I was helping parents try and get their kids back. And that was very fulfilling despite the fact that it didn't work out. And part of it was the hours and the inconsistency. That is a story for another time. Um, and then when I got into CNA work and nursing, um, you know, I had always wanted to be a nurse. I even remember in high school, um, I we, we had a book program and nursing was my top one. However, nursing is very competitive, so I didn't get into that, but, um, you know, and I have just overall really been missing it because work has been really hard. Um, work is very draining. Uh, my, my love goes out to everybody who works in a call center. Um, if you work in, you know, insurance or anything like that, um, it's very draining. Um, I got called a stupid bitch last week by a caller. So, there's that. Um, you know, and overall also because I was paying tuition out of pocket, I do need extra money. Um, so I've been debating on going back to CNA work, at least PRN, um, now that I have had a little bit over a year off, um, I'm in a mental, better mental mindset and I feel like PRN work would be really great plus my CNA certificate is expiring so I need to get a couple I need to get like 16 hours in before it expires in February so I also need to get on that um so with that being said I am scheduling to take my T's exam in October um, with that being said I took a pretest and I didn't score like fantastic on it. Um, I, I did score proficient, which is what you need, um, but I didn't do obviously great at it. It's been over a year and a half since I last took a medical class. It's been over a year since I worked in the medical field. I have forgotten a lot of things, um, but I still passed. So with that being said, I bought the manual off of Amazon instead of the actual testing site so that I can return it and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to give myself a deadline so it's a 30-day return I am planning on having that manual done looked over before my class starts in October and I am planning to have that done so that I don't have to worry about it scheduled to take my entrance exam in October as well, return the book, and hope for the best. So yeah, that is where I'm at right now in life. I left Los Angeles from school mostly through, mostly due to financial reasons, um, but also just the job stability and knowing I need to have a job. Um, I need to know, and no college, no, no education, no degree is guaranteed to give you a job. However, I am more likely to be able to land a job in nursing than I will 
having to move halfway across the country to LA and try to get a job. And there's no, I have even applied for jobs where I can move after I'm guaranteed the job, but that's where they're gonna go with somebody who's already in the area. Um, so maybe I'll go back to it, maybe I won't. Um, I always knew I was gonna go back to nursing. Um, I had every intention on finishing nursing um, after I was done with LAFS. Obviously things have changed and I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass because I would actually be finishing up my program either for spring of 2023 or the summer of 2023. And instead I am looking at starting the program. So I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass for that. But you know, the reason why I dropped out was because I was just so overworked with nursing and being a CNA and I was so burned out and I needed that break. And now that I have that break, I'm ready to go back into the field and kill it. I have a moment just re-enrolled into nursing school, so. Um, obviously I still have to try to get into nursing school, but um, right now, that is just where I'm at. Um, you know, instant gratification, gotta be doing something, gotta have purpose in my life. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know when my next video is going to be, but that is where I'm at in life. And I will probably check in with you guys after I, why was there a cop? What was the cop? So weird. Um, but yeah, so, um, I will probably be updating you guys once I do my entrance exam and get my results back on that and see where life is going to take me after that. Um, I hope you guys tune back in. And in the meantime, check out my podcast. Um, I promise it's not as boring as it sounds, or it probably is. I'm a very boring person. But. Acting update. Um, so I knew in June I was gonna take a break from acting for the summer. Um, acting is very draining, um, but I have. So I have taken that break. Um, I knew I was gonna take it because I did wanna kind of lay my life plan out. Um, so I didn't want to focus on acting, um, since it had consumed my life from March until June. Um, so with that being said, um, once I am done taking my entrance exam, once I'm done taking the T's, I am getting back on that acting journey as well. Um, so I'm excited to start that as well. Um, that is hard as well though, because I am in an area where I can't really do much, um, which was another reason why I wanted to move. Um, but I am going to work with what I have and I will more than likely get back into my acting journey in probably November. Um, and the only reason why I'm saying November is because of the mandatory overtime that I have at work right now and the fact that I do want to focus on my T's now. Um, so once that's all said and done, um, I'm probably going to feel a little bit more comfortable to get back into acting and give acting my 100% on top of everything else. Um, but yeah. So I guess like the only thing that's really left is to talk about mental health, which I'm not going to like go into huge detail about, but I've struggled with mental health my whole life. I have a lot more down days than I do good. And that is even on medication. Um, so I'm hoping it does not affect me going to nursing school because it definitely did affect quite a few things when I was at LAFS. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that this is going to be a very good chapter and that I can finish this chapter. Um, 
I'm just a very all over the place person. I always want to do everything and I want to do it now. And that's just how I've always been. I have a list of things that I want to accomplish in life. And I am kind of like that instant gratification type of person. Um, when I decide I want to do something, I want to do it. And that's kind of what happened. Um, even though I weighed a lot on withdrawing from Los Angeles from school, I decided that I needed to do something with my life in the time frame of trying to get financially restable and all that. I think that is it now. Be sure to check out my podcast. It's That's a Wrap. It is available wherever you listen to podcasts. And I am looking forward to speaking to you guys in my next vlog. Bye.